Oh, I didn't even look at Chloe's crafts. I should have, chat. That's my B. 69! Nice! Everyone's level 17 now. You love to see it. And everyone's actually really close. Wow. They're all within 10 experience of each other, it looks like. Oh, 14 green. Thank you. Please, I need more. You guys are some kind of monsters. Even if she is a bracer, there's something weird about this chick. That was awesome, Miss Chloe. Phew, nice going, Chloe. You must have learned the art of the sword from someone very skilled. Yeah, his name was Cassius Bright. <laughs> no, I'm still just a novice. Fighting any longer would serve no purpose. Please release the boy. You scum. We ain't just gonna let you make fools of us and get away with it. Enough. What? Who's there? Reinforcements? Yo, it's Agate! Has it been so long that you've forgotten my voice? Agate? You're here. What are you doing here? And you know these guys? Raise. Yeah. Gah! What are you fools doing? Fighting with a girl and beating up a little kid? Is that what it's come to? You shut up! You left us, so who are you to give us orders anymore? Ah, uh, I think that's why he gets to give you orders. You were saying? Hey, Agate, take it easy! If it's about the kid, we'll let him go, see? Miss Chloe! Thank goodness, you're alright now. Huh, you should have just done that from the start. What a bunch of mean jerks. Hey, how did you know exactly when to show up? I just talked to Gene, is all. He said the newbies were somewhere investigating the arson case. So... Hey, kid. What? You've got some guts to come up here all by your lonesome. But you're really pushing your luck. You shouldn't worry your mama like that. Clem. Matron? Why have you come here? I inquired at the guild as to what was going on and I was led here. Clem, really, you know better. I'm not apologizing this time. I'm gonna get those jerks who started the fire and we didn't start the fire. Clem! Matron Teresa, please don't scold him. What do you do? No, scold him! This kid needs to be taught a lesson, otherwise he'll always be a little brat. That wasn't my intent. I understand how you feel, Clem. Believe me, I do. The house was important to everyone who lived there with you, to all of us. However, getting yourself killed will not bring it back. All that I want is for everyone to be safe. Nothing else matters. So please, don't put yourself in danger. Matron. I... Ah. I'm such a sucker for this stuff. Clem. I'm really glad he's okay. Jeez. Women and kids, always the same. Oh, <laughs> agate. Hey, Bracer Kid. You should get the Matron and Brad out of here. This really is no place for them. I don't mind, but what will you do, Agate? I made up my mind. I'm gonna remind these idiots who runs things and why. I might need to crack a few skulls. No, please take it easy on us. I see. I guess you'd prefer not being interrupted then. Thank you so very much. I wish I had the words to express my gratitude. You don't really need to thank us. We're just doing our jobs. Still, are you sure you don't want us to escort you back to Minoria? Yes, it's fine. The Gull Seaside Way is like my backyard, after all. More importantly, I don't want to get Chloe in trouble at the school. No need to worry. I will accept full responsibility, Matron. Huh, <laughs> thank you, Chloe, but it's fine, really. I want you to focus on preparing for the campus festival. All of the children are looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Made it just in time. I brought back the bow at. Thanks. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave you on your own. Don't worry about it, wasn't a tough job. I owe you my, I owe you my gratitude as well, Joshua. Miss Chloe, all you guys actually. Thanks for helping me today. I was stupid, really stupid, very stupid. Clem. I thought maybe I could get back at them. And then you had to come to save me. You must think I'm a complete loser. Yes, yes I do. We don't think that at all. I absolutely think that. Anyone with a brain thinks that. You're not a loser. You are a loser, though. It's opposite day. What? 
you risk life and limb to protect something that's important to you? That's no mean feat, even for grown-ups. Personally, I thought you were pretty awesome. No, he wasn't. He was an idiot. He would have died. Mr. Joshua. However, you need to leave fighting the criminals to us. Your job is to protect the Matron and the other kids. No one else can do it. You have to stay with them, encourage and support them. You're the only one who can do it, Clem. Only I can do it? I'm sure literally anyone can do it, but whatever. Okay, I think I get what you're saying. You think you're up to it? You betcha, you can count on me. Thank you yet again. Take care, everyone, if you'll pardon us. Oh, Miss Chloe, I can't wait to see the play. Great, I've been working hard on it, so I hope everyone will be there. You can count on it. See you later. Woo, I'm glad to see he's feeling better. Joshua really hates giving pep talks. Ha, <laughs> I was practically in shock after seeing him so upbeat. Thank you, Joshua, so much. No, no, I didn't say anything special. You've got to protect what's important to you, that's all. Anyway, I'm just glad that he's okay. Thanks for your help, Chloe. I should be thanking you. Oh, by the way, what came of your investigation? Ah, well, that red-headed dude butted his spiky head in now, so I wonder if he's done yet. For now, let's get back to the guild. Are you coming with us, Chloe? Yes, I'd like to find out what's really going on. Not to mention the identity of the arsonist. Well, let's go then. I'm playing Town of Salem now, lads. Can I, per chance, maybe, per- What is the purple build? Oh, it's the chapel, of course. Maybe, per chance, perhaps, go to that causeway while I still have Chloe in the team. That's the landing port. Are you going to play Sky Second immediately after the first? Uh, first? No, absolutely not. There will be a break. Oh, the thing is still up, so I can't. By the time I'm done with this game, it'll probably be coming up on July. I'll have Xenoblade 3 and Digimon Survive both coming out. I don't got time to start another long-term JRPG when that happens. Welcome back and good work. I'm told you were able to save a young boy. Yeah, somehow or another. I'm still kind of in shock from when that redhead showed up. Haha, <laughs> you must mean Agate. He's working another case in Ruan. He's, he used to be the leader of the Ravens, if you can believe it. I suspected as much. Guess that explains his terrible disposition. Well, that was a long time ago. He drifted into town right around when he was your age. He hung out with the rough crowd and got into some serious trouble. Compared to back then, the tough type nowadays are puppy dogs. And a guy like that was allowed to become a bracer? Well, I've gotten to know him a little bit, and it turns out that he wanted to become a bracer ever since he was little. Sometimes people just change. I think that's probably enough of the idle chat. Oh, you're back. Didn't your mama ever tell you it ain't nice to talk about someone behind his back? Always with the gossip. Haha, <laughs> but is it really gossip if it's positive? Anyway, are you done with your investigation? Yep, over and done with. Can't say for sure, but I think they're clean. Really? You're not just trying to protect your old buddies? You wanna watch that mouth of yours? From what I saw last night at the Sailor's Tavern, they couldn't be the arsonists. Heck, I doubt they could've even walked a straight line if they wanted to. Huh. Well, if that's true, we can hold off on them. They didn't strike me as the types with the guts to try arson anyway. I guess not, just full of themselves, mostly. All you need is to give them a nasty look and believe me, they'll cave. Anyway, I'll see if I can find the arsonists while I'm out on the field. Huh? I'm taking over the case, and you're off it. Whoa, say what? You've gotta be kidding me. Can you at least give us an explanation? Oh, don't get your panties- I'm not saying that. You two are too close to this case, and you know what? I hate phrases like that. And if you let your feelings run away, run away with you, it screws with your judgment. Plus, you let a civvy get involved. Oh, pardon me, but I... You ain't gonna apolo gotta apologize, it's those two I'm worried about. The point is, you gotta be professional about it, and these two ain't. Just where do you get off calling us unprofessional? And no matter what you say, we made a promise to the mayor. Hey, Gene, what do the rules say about when junior and senior bracers want the same case? Oh, come on, you know as well as I do. Of course it rules in favor of the senior bracer. We're not bad in a fight. Perhaps we could provide backup? It's just an investigation. I don't need more people. I think we're done here. Try not to hold this against me. Well, Agate's a bit of a dick. What? He died? Just who the heck does he think he is? It's frustrating, sure, but he has a point. It just irritates me that we really don't have a counter-argument. I'm sorry if I had not drawn my sword. That's not what's bothering me. 
He doesn't have to just blow us off like that. Please, he means no harm. Don't be upset. Tact is not his strong suit. He just doesn't know any other way to communicate. Particularly in light of the current situation. I think it may have something to do with an earlier case of his. He was pursuing someone and, well... Huh? Pursuing someone? Like a criminal? Ah, uh, never mind about that. I really can't go into detail. Just let him handle these criminals. Consider it a personal favor for me. I guess we have no choice. I see. Well, we'll hand over our report from our investigation then. Please go ahead. Hey. Yo, 9 BP, let's get it. Current rank is Junior Bracer 5 class. It seems you were quite thorough, but as I mentioned, the circumstances of this case are special. I'm terribly sorry, but you'll have to end your investigation here. But we just wanted to do something for the matron and the kids. This isn't right. Estelle. Uh, Mr. Jean? The Bracers are assisting with the civilian event, aren't they? Yes, that's true. Handling security at the campus festival to deal with the crowds, in fact. Well then, Estelle, Joshua, would you mind helping out with our play in the meantime? Huh? What do you mean? Every year when the festival ends, there's a play held in the auditorium. I know the children always look forward to it, and there are still two major roles that haven't been filled. You don't mean... You want us to take the parts? Yes, otherwise we may have to cancel the play entirely. I can't bear to think of how disappointed the children would be. So I mentioned you two to the student council last night. They seem quite eager to have you. It wouldn't be much, but you'd be reimbursed from the admin budget. Why do you want us? I don't think I'd be any good, and isn't the play a really big deal? Well, for the girl part, we need someone who's been trained for combat. I think you'd fit the role perfectly. I see. Well, I can definitely do combat stuff. Sounds like it'll work. And what, what about the other part? <laughs> Joshua, we need you to be the tree in the background. Oh, yes, well, talking about it is kind of, uh, kind of, what? <laughs> Someone in chat made the same tree joke I did at, like, the same time. Good, good joke. Good joke, chat. Embarrassing. And what does that mean, exactly? What kind of play is this? Oh, come on, Joshua, you're not gonna make her say it, are you? If we can do something for the kids, where's the harm? Plus, if we do some work, they'll probably let us have some of that awesome festival food. We can't let that opportunity slip by. Hey, hold on a second. Gene, is this really a legit bracer assignment? It certainly is. Citizen outreach and regional services comprise plenty of the general work that bracers do. And since Agate showed up, you do have some extra time. I certainly have no problem with it. All right. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. But if it's for the kids, what choice do I have? Still, if we have anything else to do, we should take care of it beforehand. I doubt working on the play will leave us free time for anything else. I was literally just about to say I want to do the other side quest first. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, Chloe, would it be okay with you if we looked around here some more? Sure, you don't need to worry about me. To get to the Royal Academy, you leave by the Gull Seaside Way, go east at the first fork, and then follow the woodland path. Got it. Well then, let's go. Oh my goodness. And we are short on time for both of these, so we need to do these right now immediately. Maintenance delivery. I'm looking for someone to carry a maintenance kit to the Marine Lighthouse for a routine inspection. Come to the Granite Orbital Factory. That's easy to do. Searching for some pirate treasure hidden along the Gull Seaside Way. If anyone is willing to help me in this investigation, I'll be waiting at the chapel. Oh, we have to do all of these right now. Looking for an escort for my uncle who's dead set on heading out onto the Crone Trail. Please come to Minoria Village as soon as you can if you're able to help. Uh, the Sapphire Glim, a treasure of the House of Dalmore, was stolen from the mayor's residence. Please try to find the whereabouts of this candelabrum... candelabrum ASAP. For details regarding this, see me at the mayor's place. Make him leave. There's an annoying traveler causing problems for everyone around at Air Latin, and I'm looking for someone who can resolve this problem amicably. Please come ASAP directly to Air Latin at the east end of the Aryan Causeway. All right, so we're going to the Aryan Causeway right now. We need to find the prototype Orbal gun, and then... I assume the Orion Causeway is also where the Orion Road monster is, near the Sephiroth Tower. And then we need to go to the east end of the Orion Causeway. So we have three things to do there. Let's go there first. I'll see Chloe's crafts when I get in a fight. I'm not gonna, like... I don't need to, like, pull it up right now. Outside of combat. I'll see it when I'm in a fight. And then I'll use them as needed. Alright, this way to get to the Orion Causeway, I think. Ba, ba, ba. Does this go to the causeway? That's the mayor's residence. Whoops. Causeway would be down here. It has to let me go there now. Otherwise, I can't do these quests. They never gave me an opportunity. And lo and behold, I'm right, as always. 
North Ruan, South Air, Letton, 175 football fields. All right, so there is a monster we need to find and beat up on the way. We also need to find the prototype Orbal Gun. Death Blow 2, that sounds fun. Reduced to searching empty chests, that's really sad. Okay. What are you doing? Preemptive strike, oh my goodness, it's an ostrich! Of death! It's a roadrunner! Where's that dang coyote? How much damage do you take from this? A lot. Oh, I should have like healed and stuff before coming here. Tyrell, 2008, what are you, out of your mind? 2000 HP? I wanna see blue impact. Die, bird, die! Dance, water, dance! Oh, blue impact's pretty cool. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. All right, I want to at least kill this bird before it gets an attack. Dual strike. Got him. They don't drop green sepith. I'm dying. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Healing time. Having so many dang arts to have to scroll through is ridiculous. Probably should have hit you with like an earth art or something, but whatever. We got this. If we just all triple hit you here, you're dead. Yo, it's nice having like a super healy person, by the way. Honestly, now that we have Chloe, if we wanted to, we could probably take the water arts off of Estelle to give her a different thing, to give her a different element, because we don't have like any wind right now. Because we don't have uh, Sherizard used to handle all of the wind. So getting some wind Sephith on Estelle might be a good idea. Yo, those are 20 experience a pop. Don't mind if I do. That wasn't too hard to beat. They did drop a bunch of wind sepith. Perfect, dude. Those are ideal. They dropped like every, like the first four main elements. I want to, I want to fight more of them. Give me more road runners, dude. Someone get at me on the phone. I'm about to open a lifetime subscription to their, their newsletters. <laughs> Aw, oh, just one? I mean, it's better than none. Damage up, dual strike. Ooh, baby, that damage. I don't think Chloe's gonna be able to reach with the rapier. Nope. She's not gonna cast fast enough either. Unford. Why did that let you get a second attack in a row? Calm down, bud. I want to kill it with Chloe to, like, hear her do a battle victory quote. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. We'll see Chloe's crafts when I see him, chat. They're not going anywhere. Don't worry about it. She's doing fine with her arts right now. When I want to use a craft with her, I'll use a craft with her. There ain't no rush. What the heck are those? I want more road runners. Good experience and green Sepith, yes please. What are these other losers doing here? You're not what I wanted. Kill that bird with your crit. Close. Bum, bum, bum. Die. Easiest stab in my career. All right, we got Chloe's ult. Oh, I accidentally used Estelle's ult. I wanted to use Chloe's. Whoops. Here I, come. I just want to see what Chloe's is. That thing didn't die? Wait, what? Is it, It's a healing ult? That's pretty neat. The healing ult is interesting. I prefer damaging ults, but that can come in handy in a pinch, for sure. Definitely means we can put more of her CP to using her crafts instead, potentially. Bum, 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 die. Dead. 
Yo, we're getting so much experience. Might do some level grind in here. To be honest. Kaka! More green sepith! More green sepith! Come here, birdie. You going down. Dude, I love dual strike. Does such good damage for only 20 CP, and if both hits land, it looks like it actually gives you, like, a 10 CP refund. What more could you ask for? Does this do damage? Let's find out. Or is it just, like, a status debuff? Uh... Well, it's definitely damage. It turns out that Chloe can control the gates of the gates of HFIL. That's insane. Okay, so we get the new Digimon game alongside Xenoblade Chronicles 3 because they came out on the same day. Yeah, obviously. What am I gonna do? Just not play Digimon Survivor Xenoblade 3? Yeah, right. Bum. So much green. I need more. I need an enemy that just drops like 30 green that I can grind against. I should start building up CP for this. Uh, oh, I made it to Aerolette. Did I miss the. I must have missed the boss. They said it was near a tower somewhere. There must have been another path off the side. I also did not find the orbital gun. Bum, 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 bum. 